Monday times two. All right. This is the Freezy Guy Jim card. He's probably the coolest guy named Jim you'll ever meet. This is literally grass card. It's literally grass, that's all. This is the Doom Jelly card. It goes perfectly with Doom Peanut Butter. This is the Wall of Castles card. It, too often, walls get overshadowed by the castles they protect. Well, not this time. This is the Cyclops Duckling card. It's not a species or anything. It's just a duckling that had its left eye packed out by a bigger duckling. That's just sad. Should I bring some extra money to school? Yes. Uh... My pig weight is empty. Darn. Can I put some back? My pig weight is empty. Darn. I want to put money back. I didn't mean to bring 10. Is that an accident or... I guess we're doing either one anyway. I'm ready to start another day of kindergarten. I'm so sorry. Am I ready to start a new day of kindergarten? Yes, I am. Hmm. I smell money. Yeah, someone is definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. Hey, kid. You carrying any cash? Yes. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Hmm. No. Look, kid. I don't have time to argue with you. Give me the money or your dead mates. Go make your own money. Don't say I warn you. Uh-oh. Either bring less money to school or give a bug's half. Alright, let's try again. Excellent. Give me half or I'll spit your empty skull in my foot. Fine. Good boy. And don't go telling the teacher about this or you might turn out missing like that Billy kid. Fine. Cool, new hint. Bugs will take half your money if you bring extra money from the piggy bank at school. And what's Cindy? Cindy doesn't know that doesn't know what vegan means. You can get her a biscuit ball from the janitor or a salad from Monty. Okay, that's a weird one. Mm -hmm. Why don't we start with the teacher this time? Why not? I'm Miss Applegate. I have been well endowed, ahem, with excellent teaching qualities. Bugs stole my money. He did. Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What if he hurts me? Uh, it'll build character. Is this legal? Probably not, but this is how I can start my underground kid fighting rig. That it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Um, okay. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay, so... Bugs? What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. Damn. Are the kids savages or me? <laughs> My dad will come back. He just went to go to the store and get some cigarettes and all. Get out of here or I'll beat you so hard I'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. Damn. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dad won't be so bad. I want to live at you. Dad won't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad. Accept your fake call for teacher. Bugs! How dare you attack another show up unprovoked again? That is the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please, don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you out there. But, but... Go! Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you rat me out. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star, as promised. Thanks. Hmm, now you got me thinking of through Jerome. Thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? Maybe we could. Oh, that's a, what I want like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. 
See you then. If you still have time, you might want to get rid of Cindy too. You could easily get her expelled if she falsely accuses you of something. You've thought of a, a lot about this, haven't you? You bet I have. Talk to Monty. I'm sure he has something you could help exterminate you once she lies to you, get you in trouble. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. So I need to talk to Cindy. I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are, uh, yeah. I want the voice recorder. I'm gonna need it now. Okay. God dang. I wanna go right in front of her, but I keep messing up. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Wanna be my boyfriend? I'm so through with bugs. What happened with Bugs? We broke up. He was so jealous. He'd probably be mad if he sees me with anyone else. It, it'd be smart to get rid of him before we start dating. Not interested. Okay. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. One more order. I'm so through with Bugs. Now. What? Uh, sure. Heh. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. It will totally be the cutest couple of school. But first, you have to do something for me. Like what? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you'll ever meet. I want you to take this gun and stick it in her hair during morning time, got it? Fine, but don't go crying to me when you're dying alone. Oh my god, okay, that's not it either. Uh, you're so mean. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have to be you taken out. How would you do that? I'd like to see you try. Fine, you asked for it. What are you gonna do? Brett? Oh dearie me, what on earth is going on over here? I heard someone crying right. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. <sighs> Cindy, we've been over this. The boy's not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape, but as per Oh crap, Miss Clegg. What? You're punishing me for also being raped? Now, you listen to me, you, you little parasite. You're going to be principal's office end of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah, tell it to the principal. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to... Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Right. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get over here with... So you are accusing your little friend here, trying to you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. I'm going to assume you are going to deny that you raped her, is that correct? Yes. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much you could do except separate you two for a while. I've recorded the incident. You did? Well, this will make this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I have to listen to this, or will you make it easy by yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, he what? Okay, fine, but he started it. I, he said I was mean. You're not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorded in case there's anything trouble when your awful mother calls. So, can I have it back? No. Now, why don't you run back to class now? I think you've missed enough glory for the day. Sure. Oh, you're back! Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I have proof I didn't do it. So, that means she's gone. Oh, happy, happy day! I was so sick of hearing her and her nonsense. You would have earned a gold star. What if? Well, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs, like I hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, uh, yes. The high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time that we finally got even with them. How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of the other's pal passes has gone missing. I bet Nuggets like that Jerome took him. Why Nuggets? Why don't you just take it? What's Nuggets life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary, so even my, by my student life valuing system, it's still a pre pretty significant percentage. Oh my god. Why don't you just take the pass? I'll do it. It's, I'm not gonna do it. Why don't you just take the pass? 
I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and Lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent. Just go over there, and I'll give him to it. Give it to you. Okay. Let's do this. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monday's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Did you steal a hall pass? Why? You're just a gay one? Yes. Well, too bad. I'm not interested in the hubby little twill at you. Why not? Look, man, just unless there's something, unless there's something cool you give for me, you can forget about it. Now get lost. I apologize for reading sloppily. I don't know what's going on with me. What? You want more, buddy? I ain't got time for it. I want to buy something, dude. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jerome. Guess what I got? I told you already. I'm not interested in getting you a hall pass unless there's something cool in it for me. I'll get lost. Are yo-yos cool? Hell yeah, they are. Maybe you're cool after all. I'll trade you yo-yo for a pass. You got a deal. And since we're going to be friends, I think you should do something to help me. Ow. You know, as friends. Like what? You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning. He said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need you to help to get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get to the hall monitor once you pass him. Head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be there somewhere. I can do that. Why don't you go? I can do that. Why don't you go? No way. I already got busted with a stolen pass before. The hall monitor will catch me no matter what. Fine. Give me the pass. Awesome. It should be in a box somewhere. Just go grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He'll check back really. Got it. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you the pass. It won't be able to distract the teacher for long, so head straight to the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. I'm ready, go distract her. Give me just a minute, Jerome is distracting me. I got the pass for Jerome. I knew it! Jerome, you little cockroach, we've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What, you ratted me out to the teacher? Dude! Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please don't call me that. No, because you are. That's what you are. Teach your special little rat. Just like Jerome is teach your special little suspended hooligan. Um, come on, bro. I thought we were cool. Well, you were kind of rude. Well, he's not. And he, and because he's not so uncool, he's getting... Oh, my God. He gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'll love to know where you went. Man, stupid rat, give me in trouble. My dad's gonna kill me. Literally. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's get this kid removal train rolling. How? I have a special plan for Nugget. Just be friendly, little weirdo, by the time recess starts. Okay, I guess. Feel free to get any, any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there, too. There. You'll have to get creative, though. I'll try. Okay, let's look at the planner. Um, get rid of Jerome during morning time by giving him a yo yo and then giving a teacher his hall pass. Talk to Nugget and after Jerome has been suspended. Tell him Bugs for robbing you and say you won't help the teacher. Wait, really? Interesting. Jerome will talk to you during morning time if you give him a yo-yo. Interesting. Okay. Let's befriend Nugget. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh, normally Nugget spend. <clears throat> oh, no, no, Nugget normally spends morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget says supposes he can be friends with if if what you get the you eat this nugget that's it yes do this for nugget and you will be friends okay good now remember the taste of the nugget we will dine together at lunch nugget we'll see you then okay um was there anything new in my planner no there's nothing new so what am i missing Talk the nugget during lunch, get Monty in trouble during lunch, get Lily in trouble during lunch, get Bugs in trouble again before recess. Gain the trust of Nugget before recess starts. Hmm, okay. Okay. 
bugs. Why the hell do you think I want to be? Good point. Gotta go see you at lunch, friend. Okay. And you? What can I do for you? Um, nothing right now. What about Applegate? Try and rat on as many of the other kids as you can. I believe in you. Thanks. Do I need to buy something? What do you got? Screwdriver, cigarettes, never mind. Uh, I guess. Nothing right now. Okay, kids, that's lunch bell. Go, let's go down to the cafeteria and. Oh, wait, I go went to the cubbies. Dang it. Okay. And I messed up again. Nugget is pleased you have returned to tell Nugget that the nugget you consumed was very tasty, yes? Sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Nugget poisoned the nugget. I'm gonna die? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. Bugs just do slap at you. I didn't even look, I was reading. Yes, he does that every day. But Nugget today, Nugget has poisoned you and you're going to poison Nugget for Nugget. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. How do I poison him? Here's the other another Nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate. Only this one is far more poisoned. Just get Bugs to eat it. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry, Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings where the poison does its work. I hate you. No way a world you're just gonna be sick with me. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Cause otherwise you'll look like a sissy. Cause you're a poor and you... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know why that was funny. Because others... Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy? Cause I won't eat a stupid nugget. Cindy? What? Sissy doesn't think I'm a sissy. Well, she won't if you eat this nugget. Yeah, give me the nugget. I'll show her. March. You sure showed her. Is it done? Has nugget been poisoned? Has bugs been poisoned? Sorry. Wonderful. Yeah. Nugget is quite pleased if what you say is true. Bugs should die any moment now. And there he goes. Here's the editor, as promised. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Cool. Now I just need to get rid of Monty somehow. And... Hmm... How do I get rid of Monty? Now I just thought about that. He sells stuff. Never mind. You spelled biscuit wrong. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't read. Monty can. Ugh, that little tweet with the glasses. Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. Um, what do you want? Get some gender stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got a coffee for you to buy. This is a lesson you, uh, to you about correcting people's spelling. There. Lessons were learned. Lines are drawn. You're a good kid for letting me know that a little monster's going around correcting spelling. And in a school of all places, shameful the way kids turn around these days. Yeah, shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. Thanks. Me and Nugget the ones left, and Lily outside. You just let the old janitor know if anything else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that will happen again. Oh, these glasses blew out the nerd's face. What a hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right, thanks. Alright, and you go in the hallway. Hey, stop! You can't leave until lunch is over. Okay. Maybe I need the glasses or something. What was it? Uh, nothing here. Um, planner, I need my planner. Tell it, tell the teacher you gained nuggets of trust, get Lily in trouble during lunch. 
Yeah, I gotta remember that. How are you doing there, Sonny? You wanna try some new shoes to slop? Uh... Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of kitties out in the hall during lunch, but maybe you can do me a little something if you want me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to open switch my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See if you can find... Oh, no. Right here. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Do... <sighs> I gotta restart. Hold on. Okay, now we're back. Go away, cat. I'll get in trouble with the principal here to you. This is the door of the principal's office. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. That's the point. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I'm not to let you know. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again. I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office now! Please give me for a moment. Jesus. Okay, thanks for thank you for letting me know about her. I'm going to head her head the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? Covered in blood. What was that gunshot? Oh, okay. You're covered in blood. What? Oh, this? No, it's, uh, ketchup. You're very observant. Right. Listen very carefully. Those are going to be punished very severely for being observant. Do you understand? Yep. Go to recess now. Okay. Well done. You got Lily Monty and Bugs. That's unpre unprecedented. You've earned these three gold stars. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend a little boy creature? Yes. Excellent. You see that hole he's standing over there? He's been digging for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove it. How dangerous it is, and the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who do he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. Why don't... Why doesn't he... He doesn't trust you? Why don't you go... He doesn't trust you? Of course not. He may be ugly, weird, ugly, and disturbed, but he's only a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him, so what do I do? You need to go down there in the hole and find something it doesn't have to be budged. Just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Like what? I don't know, just look... Just know there has to be something down there. Just go down there and find out. Okay, okay. Good, come back when it's done. Will do. Man, there's a lot of work. <sighs> I have to keep restarting, too. Thank you for coming, guys. It's Nugget Ass. Normal Nugget normally doesn't have any friends to show his work, but today he does. Are you ready to enter another cave? Yes, I am. Excellent, but first Nugget must do something. That's, what's that? There, the Nuggets are now in place. Now we are ready. Why did you just draw all those Nuggets in the hole? So we do not die out upon landing. Nuggets, nuggets are as rare, squishy as they are tasty. Now please, enter the Nugget Cave. Wee! Wow! Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Uh. Oh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. D Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. Take the dog. Um, is there really nothing else to do in here? Oh! There's a monster monster car lying here next to some disturbing skulls. I'll take the card. Yes! Are we really not gonna talk about these two? This guy that looks just like me? And this weird sign that reads something, but now for some reason I can't talk to it? Are you enjoying your stay in the Nugget Cave? Yep. Yeah, but I'm ready to go. Well, what did you find? This dog barks. Oh my dearie me, is that, is that, is that Cindy's dog? Nugget! What is the large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never. Well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Do not lie to me. 
Nugget's not lying. Nugget knows it was a janitor who killed the lily puppy. I know it was you! Oh my, that was unfortunate. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the results. You earned another gold star. Cool. Well, would you look at that? The playground is completely empty. You got rid of all of your classmates and collected six gold stars. So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh right, your reward. Here you go, a special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want You ha to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Gee, thanks. Well, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm gonna take off. What about me? Look, kid, either I got earn a gold star or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. I'll walk on it. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles! Yay! We got the lunch pass. And we got the wizard worm. Monday times three. Alright, here's our card. This is the Wizard World card. Not to be confused with Mage Maggot or Sorcerer Serpent. This is the lunch pass you got from your teacher. After getting six gold stars in one day, you can use this to spend your lunch time with the teacher. I'll leave it here for now. Well, looks like we got the teacher's quest done. Yep, we got them all done. Number two was buy the voice recorder before getting sent to the office with Cindy by asking her if you love it enough. Bugs, Monty, and Lily should all be eliminated during lunch, and Nugget can only be eliminated at recess and only if Cindy has been eliminated. Noted. And the last card was number 12. Wizard Worm is the Nugget Cave next to the Skulls. Awesome. Well, this was a weird experience, and hopefully we will continue on to do either Cindy or Jerome's quest. I will hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. Your choice, not mine. I will see you all next time. And the pathway to Kindergarten 3 will be upon us.